Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be showcasing uh, for Risk of Rain 2 the Deku mod. Um, yeah, Deku. So t so we're gonna be showcasing all the moves, telling you what the best build is, and or my opinion, best build. So first of all, we're gonna start off with first of them all, uh, which is Air Force. Back whip, shoot style, and of a hundred percent. So I, I'll I'll show you all the best, in my opinion, best build. But this is all opinion based, and yeah. So first we got M1, which is like a little gun uh, range, and then we have. The right click, which is a stun, and deals damage short cooldown, which is nice. Um, not a lot of damage, but still really nice. Quite a bit of range. Then we have a shift, shoot style. It's pretty much a mercenaries are. Uh, that's practically what it is. Run into it. That, that move, right click does have a... A side ability, like it's AoE, sorry, not side ability. So then we got its R up a hundred percent. Uh transfers into a mode. It does cost HP, so be careful. Then we have its M1, which is pretty much a flying kick. It does mad damage, but it does cost HP. Uh Let's take care of these guys. These wisps. Okay. Then we have the right click ability, which is um creates this like thing. It it does damage uh when you have it in a circle. And does explosion damage. And then we have its shift, which is pretty much a huge blast. Costs a ton of HP, and there is no alternate R. It, now, so it's good, and I'll show. I'll do a teleporter. Uh, and I won't. I'm just seeing. Okay, he does have a dash, meaning he does have a way to ignore fall damage. Okay, portals over here. I'm gonna do one uh, portal, and then uh, and then I'll showcase the next set and the next set. Yep, yeah, it costs. How did I? Well, yeah, it's it's all right. I honestly don't like this. Oh, fall damage. So next, we're gonna go for the next one. We have shoot k style kick. Uh, man, Strider smash. I I don't watch a lot of My Hero Academia. Shoot style full calling, and then of a forty-five percent. Now, I do like the 45% one more than the 100%. Sure, it does less damage. It does not cost HP, but it does not regenerate HP. So, first we got a kick. Six, six second cooldown, which is quite a bit. Uh, which, But it does do a, quite a bit of damage. Never mind. Oh, yeah. it, it this The cooldown's not there if you hit. Oh, so this can be like really good on big bosses because you can just continue doing it Then we got its right click. Let's find it's this is like the best right click uh, it, it creates this 
more damage and it does interrupt. Then we have its shift, which is like a small stun, low damage. I do like the other one, but the fact that it does stun is so nice. Come on. Now, of 45%, we have its M1, which is pretty much just a better and much stronger version of the first one. You can pretty much stay in this farm all day. Just don't die because no regen. It is in a shotgun, as you can see, and it's almost, it does have pierce too, so that is nice. Then we got its uh, right click ability. Right click's really good. It's pretty much just an improved version of the other right click, and it does create kind of like, it pushes them back, which is nice. Then we got its shift, which is pretty much just a other version. If you land a successful kill, it does reset the cooldown. Oh, never mind. And yeah, I honestly think this is good. Next, we're going to... Oh well, yeah, we gotta do teleporter. Uh, what's the best movement for this character? Honestly, it, I don't think it has any good movement abilities other than this and the shifts. Um, yeah, the shift is actually pretty good. Don't listen to me. Shift has a good, really good mobility. This sucks as mobility. The shift and the M1 for this mode does. The other M1 doesn't have it. So, we're gonna do this teleporter. No items. We're gonna go of Blue Beetle. Okay. Huge AoE. And it's really easy to switch in between the modes, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. No! Okay, well... Yeah, as you can tell, I, I'm not the best at the game. Then we have this one other move, which is Detroit Smash. Uh, for my, this one, yeah, Detroit Smash. So let's showcase Detroit Smash. I'm fairly, I haven't done Detroit Smash. Actually, I have. So, yeah, it's kind of like, I think it's a teleporting. Let me see. It is kind of a... Yeah, I do like think Detroit Smash is good. It's a teleport. It stuns. I think the best thing about this character is the amount of stuns it has. Like, it's insane. Wait, did that just refresh? Ooh, so the, the... The... Yeah, I was right. So, when you kill an enemy with the M1, it resets all of the cooldowns. That is nice. That is super nice. Let me just... Yeah, that is so ha good. So, now we're gonna go over the best mo uh, the best abilities and why I think that. So, the best abilities and best set for Mr. Deku over here is uh, Shoot Stall Kick because it has no cooldown when um when uh it has no cooldown um when you kill it resets all the cooldown and if you hit it resets that cooldown and it does scale with movement speed which is insane next then i think uh i think the 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 back whip like it's nice pulling them in and then you can just do good damage, and it's it's just nice. The amount is stunning. The cooldowns less. The, it has uh, a little, it, smaller AOE, but overall, my opinion better. Then 
we have out of these. I think shooting style, shooting style full coing, cooling, um, cooling. I don't know. I think I like this because I, I will actually, I do like this. I love this because it's fast, it stuns, and it has multiple sets. Yes, I do like the Detroit Smash, but eh. Next, I do think of a 45 because of the fact this doesn't like it. I don't like how it decreases HP instead of increase. It decreases HP, and every move you just get so close to dying, and you will die from it. And then Detroit Smash. Uh, sorry, of a 45%, it just makes your disabling, and the moves are pretty good. Anyways, those that's the set, I think, best moves for Mr. Deku here. So, yeah.